Hi Pisces and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Pisces. And so we can take a look at the cards. We can get a sense of the energies for the month to help guide you. And hopefully some of this will resonate. Again, it's a general reading. So take what does, leave the rest as many say. And uh, let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Okay. So we have the Prince of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Two of Wands. So the Prince of Pentacles is uh, sitting on his horse. He's out in the field and he's holding on to the huge pentacle. It looks like it could be a pentacle shield, but nevertheless, he's holding on to it. In fact, he can barely see over it. So with the Prince of Pentacles, we get a sense of this hardworking fellow who's devoted, who's dedicated, who is uh, doing everything in his power to do the work and to get the work done well. So this can extend to office situations where maybe you're really working hard on a project or a deadline. You may be leading a group of people. So there's a sense of leadership here, but this is responsible, dedicated, and devoted energy. And the prince here is observing. He's planning. He's using all of the qualities of the pentacle element, which is this groundedness and uh, common sense to make things work, to build security, to earn money, to secure investments. So it's this very, it can be a very slow moving, steady type of um, uh, progress being made. And so the key is in, in a standstill here, observing, taking in the information, processing it, and then doing what needs to be done in order to make, uh, again, make gains on a goal. So Tuesday may be a day where you are researching, where you are, uh, you know, closing all the loops, returning the emails, getting the information, and working your plan. And so after all that hard work, because the prince is working hard, he's saying to himself, gosh, this is looking pretty good over here. Raising a glass, the three of cups. It's a card of fun and levity and toasting to your abundance in your life or letting people know how you're doing, catching up with friends catching up with family. And it's just a nice way to communicate. It's a nice way to share and to celebrate each other. And these are people that you like being with either in your private life or in your business life or your work life. You know, we have work happy hours. We have private get togethers as well. And this is a time where you're going to be getting together, chatting, having fun, having a laugh, telling stories. It's nice to be with your friends and exchange stories of what's going on. So uh, he's thinking, yeah, after I put in all this work here, I'm hoping to, hoping I can get included in this. So, uh, you know, something to look forward to is when you do work hard, it's these moments and these authentic uh, engagements with our friends that are meaningful. So here's Planning, common sense approach, three of cups, celebrating, toasting, sharing, talking. And then we have the two of wands. And the two of wands we see, I love this illustration, we see the outline of someone with the wands. And they're out in the field. And, you know, this is a card about the beginning of manifesting, the beginning of thinking about what's next for you. In a typical rider weight, we would see the gentleman holding the, the uh, globe in his hands. But in this case, we just get a sense of this openness and 
this freedom and the twos represent often decisions. So you may be thinking, am I going to move in this direction or am I going to go in this direction? What is going to make me feel good? What's going to make me feel happy? Am I going to pursue, you know, getting another degree or am I going to start writing, you know, magazine articles freelance? So decisions to be made and you weigh these decisions on what's going on in your life and what the potential can be. But hopefully when people make these decisions about manifesting about where they're headed, hopefully they can tune into what really makes them happy. The things that don't feel tedious and the projects or the activities that make you smile and have fun or feel challenged. So I always think of the two of wands as the beginning of, you know, you're planning and you're looking at the big picture and you're just kind of tossing things around in your decision making process. And the Prince of Pentacles is probably playing a part of this as well. So it's a nice reading for Tuesday, you know, no harm in planning, no harm in preparing, no harm in thinking about what's next. And it may not be for tomorrow. It may be a six months, you know, thinking about maybe it's a year plan. So there you have it. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have one, four, and four and two is six and six is about social consciousness. It's about compassion, often stability and finding peace. And then to close the reading, I'm going to choose an Oracle card from the uh, Chakra Wisdom Oracle. Self-worth. So that's an interesting illustration. It looks like they're out in the snow and here's this beautiful throne. And this young person is unsure of whether they should sit in it. And uh, there maybe they're thinking, do I deserve to sit in that chair? And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's important to maintain our self-worth and to maintain our self-confidence because when challenges come or struggles come, we can beat ourselves up for it. We can blame ourselves. And I just think with self-worth, it's, you know, you have to love yourself and you have to accept yourself. Again, back to perfection. We can't, nobody's perfect. There's no perfect body. There's no perfect face. There's no perf, no way to be perfect. So why are we driving ourselves crazy? Accept who you are and be happy with what, what and who you are. And then you can take all those other worries and set them aside. And so it's, it's believing, it's really believing that you are, um, uh, that you are everything that you're meant to be full of good, full of kindness. And, you know, it's uh, in society these days with the images that we see in media, and I think about young girls and I think of what they're looking at and what does self-worth mean to them and the role models. So always a lot to think about. Sorry for that tangent. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a great Tuesday. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. Come back tomorrow for another reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.